New information tonight after singer and rapper NBA Youngboy faces dozens of charges. As we have reported, Mark, that he was taken into custody in Cache County, accused of organizing fraudulent drug prescriptions at Utah pharmacies, legally known as Kentrell Gald Galden. He's been on house arrest in Utah since 2021. Ariel Harrison live tonight after speaking with one of those targeted businesses, Ariel. Yeah, well, one pharmacist I spoke with said they thankfully didn't fulfill that order as they noticed some red flags. But unfortunately, others weren't so lucky. Now tonight, the young celebrity who already had a criminal history now faces more than 60 related charges to this alleged scheme. Pharmacy owner Eric Stewart says hearing news of an arrest in the fraud ring investigation involving his business was a relief. You know, I'm just happy that they're able to connect the dots. Last September, Stewart says his team at Reed's Pharmacy in Hiram got a call from someone claiming to be a doctor needing to fill a prescription, something he called the first red flag. You usually don't get a doctor calling in a cough syrup themselves. That'll be like a nurse or something. But then just their medical terminology was off the the quantities, the way they, you know, pronounce the things, um, everything was suspicious. Like Stewart's case, arrest documents reveal multiple other pharmacies across Utah were targeted too. According to investigators, callers linked to Young Boy would call in prescriptions using the name of a real doctor and provo in some cases, but giving fake patient information. Individuals would then pick up the order from pharmacies, mainly promethazine and codeine. These type of medications they're trying to get are regulated, so throwing a, a, a chink in the in the I guess process can really disrupt uh, potential opportunities to get the medication you actually need. Weber County Sheriff's teams helped take Galden into custody with federal partners just yesterday. We believe this to be several more months of work for us. Efforts local business owners like Stewart appreciate. But when it's on a bigger scale like this, it's more concerning, right? Uh, because they're pretty persistent and um, I mean, it's just a big disruption to us and it's just a headache for us to have to deal with. Now, the 24-year-old rapper is booked at the Cache County Jail, facing 63 different charges related to this, including having a dangerous weapon as a restricted person. Reporting live, Ariel Harrison, KUTV 2 News.